All right, here we go. So this is what our uh, supplies look like in terms of uh, getting everything ready to go for the shipment. So we have the book, uh, some extra old unused bags and boards just for extra padding, bubble wrap, uh, that top loader and packing slip and the label itself. First thing you do is you take the Gemini mailer, turn it this way and flat. And usually what I do is I'll take a piece of tape here. This one does. Take the flaps here, fold them in to kind of get them started. Put them on the long and then fold them on the neck. Get them going makes it a little easier when you put the book inside like that. And then kind of leave it there ready to go. This is the book itself. Top loader. You have to get put it right into the back. It's caught. So that's pretty well protected on its own. It's a little, you can bend it a little bit. I don't want to bend it, but there it is. Um, I will then take a little bit of a piece of tape here and just put it over it just in case it slides out and then I'll um, fold it on the back so that you're able to. And what that does is then when the buyer receives the item, they can very easily just grab that and that keeps the book just from sliding around the top there. So essentially that's ready to go. Um, you really don't need much more. Uh, I just add a little bit extra. Uh, again, these are just throwaway bags and boards, a yellowish. Just again, to protect everything nice, I'll put this in a piece of bubble wrap. It's like a bubble wrap bag. So this, I don't need to tape this down and go crazy and tape, tape these boards to the thing. I can simply just uh, lay it down. I prefer to lay it down face first. And again, just for additional protection here. I mean, this book is, is solid, solidly protected, but I'm not gonna wrap this in tape. There's no reason to keep taping this up over and over and over. Um, it, they're just not. Uh, that's the point of the Gemini. Uh, from the original folds, it, it ends up uh, lining up nicely here from those original, what these porgs doing? Get out of here. Should I include the porg sticker? Let's do it. Why not? It's, uh, up on the back of it. Uh, pay it forward. Pay the porgs forward? I don't know. Hey, doesn't that look great? Have some poor reaction in your comic book. All right, I always print a packing slip so there's no surprises. So I folded down that, put the packing slip right on that outer edge. This is where I start to fold over, try and get it as close to the edge as possible. And then you turn it on its side and give it just a slight push down on both sides so that you can get it flush to the edge. Now, you don't want to overdo it because again, what's inside is the most important thing. Not that this is lining up has to be it, but I really like for it to be uh, as close to lined up as it can. Then uh, I spare no expense on the tape at this point. So I give it a first piece of tape there and I start to take it from the overlapping book side down. Again, using gravity and physics and weight and all of those things to my advantage to keep the book sealed. I'll even add a little extra there, like so, right on that edge. Okay, so now, now I know it's just, this is pretty solid. It's, it's not moving around in there. There's no noise, no nothing. And then what I will do is I'll add another piece of tape on the side because I don't want there to be any pressure where this is gonna open this way. I want to keep it down as much as possible. So you see over here too, I, I want this to, to kind of squeak like a little. Take another piece, that tape is extremely loud. Go over that there. And I'll do the label last off camera. So I will just go around. One, two. Now I don't care if the tape gets messy. What we want is this is not opening. Extra tape on it is gonna prevent additional damage Right, this is sturdy, it's solid. 